testing one two one two all right let's get to filming hey youtube fam i hope that you guys missed me because i sure as hell missed you guys i see that i have a few new subscribers here on my channel so welcome my name is rachel aka the health nut and on my channel i make videos of health fitness and just the lifestyle that i live Anyway, since I've returned from my mini hiatus, I wanted to try and film something a little simple. So we're going to be continuing on with Test It Tuesday, doing a baking recipe from Remy, also known as Veggiekins on YouTube. So the recipe that we're going to be making is the turtle-shaped vegan matcha cookies, which are vegan, gluten-free, and whole foods and plant-based. And I'm super excited to try and make these because one, they look super freaking cute, and two, you guys all know how big of a fan of matcha I am. So here's to hoping that they'll hopefully taste as good as they'll hopefully turn out. So let's get to the kitchen and make some cookies. So to start off with ingredients, we're going to need oat flour, almond flour, tahini, maple syrup, baking powder, vanilla extract, and of course the matcha. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so make sure you do that. Now that that's going, we're going to combine half a cup of tahini, half a cup of maple syrup, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we're going to whisk it until it's smooth. After that, we're going to sift in a quarter cup of almond flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and about half a cup of oat flour. We're going to add it in by the tablespoon because the recipe says that the texture of the tahini can vary, so it's good to add the oat flour gradually. So what we're going for is a dough that is workable and spreadable, so we'll keep adding the oat flour until it gets to that point. Alright, so so far I've added half a cup of the oat flour, but it's still not quite a dough consistency, so I'm going to keep adding in the oat flour by the tablespoon. Alright, so now I've been able to get it to a dough consistency and what we're going to do is we're going to take a third of the dough and separate it. That is what we're going to use to make the head, the appendages, and the tail for the turtles. And then to the rest of this, we're going to add in a teaspoon to two teaspoons or however much of the matcha to taste. I think I'm going to add one more teaspoon of matcha just so that it can get a really vibrant color. That looks green enough to me, so let's get on with making the shells. Now using the back of a knife, we're going to make the turtle shell patterns.
Now we're going to go ahead and use the plain dough and make the head, the arms, and the tails. Yes, I am touching the turtle's butt. And now for the final touch, poking in some eyeballs with a chopstick. We are finally done and now we can pop these babies into the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. So while those are baking, I thought I could chat with you guys about where I've been since my last video back in February. And I actually took the months of March and April to focus on some case study reports that were due for my holistic nutrition studies. Some personal family matters had taken place earlier in the year, and with that, life just kind of left me feeling uninspired. I have a few friends in the YouTube space as well, and I began to compare the quality of my videos to the quality of their videos, and began to think about whether or not the content that I was putting out held enough value for my viewers. I put too much unnecessary pressure on myself thinking that my videos had to have some greater meaning or be able to impact people and their lives in some immense way or that I had to have the greatest and most creative editing ever but that in itself just paralyzed me from being able to make any type of video at all. And then I found that it became difficult to even try and express myself authentically. Then I stopped even doing things that I used to do like like story vlogging on Instagram. Being in that mindset made me lose sight of why I even began making videos in the first place, which initially was for myself as a way to have a creative outlet to share and document the things that I enjoy, the lifestyle that I lived, and also, most importantly, was for the fun of it. This is something that I'm still trying to remind myself of as of now, so bear with me as I try and get back into creating videos for you guys. There probably still won't be a frequent upload schedule because I'm still trying to work on making this a fun space for me to be in again. Anyway, the cookies should be done any minute now, so let's go pull them out of the oven. So with these cookies, you really want to wait until they've finished firming up and cooling off before trying to remove them from the baking mat or parchment paper. Otherwise, you're going to make a mistake like me and have the bottom of the cookie tear off, which is not what we want. Okay, can we just, can we just take a moment to appreciate how freaking adorable these cookies turned out? I was kind of scared in the beginning because I had to add a lot more oat flour than what was on the recipe and I was kind of scared that they would turn out like those deformed baking fails that you see on the internet so I'm so glad that they did not turn out that way and yeah, it is time for the taste test. So as I said before, I didn't wait long enough for the cookies to firm up and cool down before I tried to remove them on the sheet. So one of the six actually broke. So that's the one that we're going to taste test. It's got a little piece of him right here, a little head as well. Let's test it out. Mmm, mm -hmm. I probably maybe could have left it in just a smidge longer, but they're really nice because they're 
crunchy on the outside or what would you say like crisp on the outside but they're chewy mm. Mm -hmm. and of course anything matcha i love so Mm. I am one happy girl. These are probably the cutest cookies that you will ever eat. Definitely make them 10 out of 10 recommend. And thank you Remy Veggiekins for the recipe. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. It was nice to talk to you guys again and kind of just debrief on where I've been. So with that, make sure to give this video a like if you did, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.